Previously on Big Brother 4, the house grew divided as outcast exes G, Robert, and Justin bonded. Desert Room denizens Dave, Jack, and Erica tried to sway Nathan to their cause. And Dana walked the fine line between. There's a perception in the Alliance of Eight that uh, Dana is uh, playing both sides, that she's cozying up to Justin and, and Robert. While former couple Robert and Erica clashed openly. We're not friends, we never were friends. So what do you want to do, hang out now? I just don't want it to be an uncomfortable situation. Allison flirted with both her ex-boyfriend Justin and head of household Nathan. Oh, there goes and new friends Amanda and David grew close. Nominees Amanda and G waited anxiously for the first eviction. One of them will be the first to leave empty-handed. But the result was a shutout. By a vote of nine to zero, Amanda, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. And after a close competition, the correct answer is 9,000 plus. G became the new head of household, sending shivers through the Alliance of Eight. Which two house guests will G nominate for eviction? Find out tonight on Big Brother 4. of nine to zero. I vote to evict Amanda. 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 Amanda, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. I'm sorry that she had to go down like this. So what's done is done now. Everything went as planned and uh, all nine people voted the way that uh, I hoped they would. It didn't surprise anybody what the final outcome was. I'm looking at it one less to get me closer to the 500,000. My uh, goodbye with Amanda, it was sincere. I don't regret the vote that I made because if I went against voting her off, that would potentially flag myself, but I do regret it because G should have went. <laughs> thought I could manipulate as easily as I would be able to with G. So I definitely wanted to see G remain in the house. I was like, all right, I just won one round. So, you know, I was, I was happy that somebody else left and it wasn't me. I was, I was pretty focused going into the head of household competition. Four of you left in the game. After I'd been eliminated from the competition, I realized that the remaining four people were all exes, and it was not a damn good feeling at all. The fact that it was four exes, you know, taking it into the final round of Had a Household, I thought it was such a good kick in the ass for everybody. <laughs> Gee, you are the new head of household. Congratulations. You can get your key from Nathan and enjoy the perks and your private room. Thank you, house guests. There's really not a better person in the house that I would want to win the Head of Household other than G. This would make or break the original eight. It, this was huge, and worst case scenario happened, you know, one of the exes got it. To be the head of household is absolutely shocking for me right now. I mean, to not be evicted and then to be, to actually win the, you know, the competition for head of household, I mean, that is just absolutely amazing. Oh. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Thank the Elite Eight, now Elite Seven, is not done and dead. It's struggling severely. In my mind, after this head of household competition, the elite aid is just is non-existent for me. Original eights, we're barely hanging. Well, it's now at seven, so we're, we're hanging in there. This week is going to kill us. Um, so we'll see where we go from from this week. 
Being that you know that I am the new head of household, I'm really looking forward to enjoy the perks of the of the room. See what you got in there. I don't know what I have. New disco ball. I love this room. Welcome, guys. Yeah. Look, you got another picture, Goose. Awesome. Got the rose. The picture is Carmen, my girlfriend, and um, it was in a nice frame. You know, she looked beautiful and beautiful and sexy in it. All right. Hey, gosh, wow. I'm going to look like this. I'm going to look like this. boy. <laughs> I was just kept singing to myself, you know, I was like, oh, man, this guy looks so whack on me, you know. It's, I mean, I'm already like a yellow skin boy as it is with the gold, and you know, it's going to look bad. Did you even sit on this bed yet? No, not yet. Just sit on it. I'm going to lay on it. Oh, this is hot. <laughs> this shit is soft. Uh -huh. Wait till it's put so Gico's door out there. Yeah, I guess so. Did they turn up this stuff again? No? No. What's up with these things? Yeah, that's what we said. Juno said you could touch my stuff, Juno. Oh, wait. Okay. Cool. Yeah, hello. our omelet. So yes, chill whenever you guys want to. If you guys want to get him in trouble, just come in here now, half naked, and jump in bed with him. Why are you always trying to be the devil's advocate? And watch him panic. <laughs> I will panic because I'm a nice guy. I think the important thing right now is that I'm not treating G any differently than I have been treating him. June. I mean, God, I don't want her to go on the block, but, you know, she was treating G like the whole week. You know what? June's going to really have to watch her back, too. It's not like she's safe. But I'm going to have to be nice to G. I might have to stab her in the back if that's the case. Hey, I got to do it. You have been looking out for him always. He knows that. They're still, they're still, they're still like like and I was like really? with him like throughout March. the whole thing. And I want to win, and I want to stay here. There's no way I'm going home earlier than I wish. I think so. I think I gotta clean some stuff. Oh, would you stop and relax? No, no. I just want to clean some glasses because, like, we're all drinking and there's we're gonna run out of glasses. I'm just gonna wash a few. There's few of us that wash dishes. There's constantly like 20 glasses laying around the living room, the kitchen, the yard. It's a little annoying, aggravates me, and I'm pissed off. I think everything pisses Dana off. That's just her personality. Pisses me off. I'm really pissed off. I'm so pissed off right now. I would love to see how these people live at home. Like, do you, do you, stand in dirt when you shower, or do you rinse it off when you get out? You know, I won't go in there without shoes on. This is horrible. It really is. Laundry at the Big Brother house is a major issue. Washing towels by hand in a bucket is a super pain in the butt. How dare you take my towel without asking? I didn't ask you all. No, I'm gonna beat his ass. Come here, you little bitch. Let me spank you. That pisses me off. He's pissing me off so bad. Dana gets pissed off, and the problem about Dana when she gets pissed off is she's not able to hide it very well. That don't piss me off. Like, all you gotta do is look at Dana and she gets pissed. This is the thing. I don't mind getting played by people that I dislike. I don't want to get played by anyone of you guys, and if it happens, when people get pissed off, I'm telling you now. <laughs> like, if you even think about Dana, she knows and she gets pissed. It's, it's unreal. Now that I am the head of household, you know, I have to know who I'm going to be putting up, so I have to hear everyone out. I was a little hesitant to run into the head of household room with Jay, so I'm going to have to play it cool just for a little while, just in case. It, seriously, this, this week is going to set the tone for the rest of the game. In my heart, I could, like, cry even thinking about it. It couldn't have went better today. Exactly. Seriously. Yeah, it worked out to our benefit, for sure. And as the days go by, I... I You'll know more, but you're not stupid, and I'm not telling you everything that. you don't know. I'm saying that for this week, you're okay. safe. You know what I'm saying? That's, That's what I'm telling you. That's fine. That's what I'm telling you. I'm not no. saying the future, like I have you back Man, that week. makes my week awesome. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you I'm telling you right now, you don't have to sweat for this week. Okay. okay. Like, a possible target could be Dana. Her whole nasty little New Yorker side. You know what? I can relate to it. I'm a New Yorker. I'm tough. But don't bullshit with me, too, because I'll bring it right back at you, you know? I'd like, rather be hanging out with a handful of people that I like. That's all I'm saying. And at all this right, point, we're on track to get Dana's already in there kissing ass. It's just like nobody's safe now. What can we offer G to get him to nominate Dana? I don't know if I should approach him about her and talk 
to him, like, you know, Dana, you gotta watch out for her. I, I think I got a little influence on him, too. If we have to lose one of us, and we're going to, we need to get Dana nominated. I would like to see Dana nominated because we simply can't trust her. She's gonna tell all. Damn, Dana scares the hell out of me. I can hate her. She's gotta go. We have a hell of an alliance now. We just gotta keep it intact with Dana. She's gonna blow it. Dana's pretty much our wild card right now. If she don't spill the beans and, and freaking lose her, lose her mind, then we'll be okay, but nobody trusts her. That's what we want. Because, because I think he hates I mean, he's, he's done with her. So, I guaranteed her safety this week. That doesn't mean she fell for me. Doesn't mean. Heading towards nomination, my, my mind can change. Um, you know, I, I am open to suggestions that I will hear everybody out. Nathan from Oklahoma, he's got four sisters and three brothers. There's a town called Fort Gibson. On Friday nights for football, the whole town just shuts down. Oh yeah, Nathan's very proud to be from Oklahoma, absolutely. Honestly, I say Oklahoma City's got to be the top five in the nation, when your cities. <laughs> when you get nervous, the drags that come out a lot more. It comes out so bad. <laughs> Golly. 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 You like text messaging from your cell phone? Yeah. So was I. <laughs> I was like, fixing to go in. <laughs> it's kind of rubbing off on me, the whole southern thing. Fixing to make the tummy full. Oh, I'm fixing to make this. I'm fixing to do this. My girl's gonna be freaking out when I come back and say that to her. I'm fixing to make love to you, baby. <laughs> when you're fixing to do something, is that means you're you're going to do something? I'm gonna fix me some fish. I said it wrong, didn't I? Yes, you did. You gotta that say, dance. I'm fixing to have some fish. <laughs> oh, God, dude. I know how to use, I know how to use it now. Right, Nate? Yeah. Golly! Golly. It's like hee or something. Right. So what would you annually put in a month on your IRA? I don't think Nathan's uh, gosh darnness is any way, you know, saying that he's stupid. He's a very smart individual. I, yeah. Bro, I'm not as dumb as they think I am. <laughs> How hard is it to be, get in Congress? I wouldn't mind being a congressman. The next thing you do, you want to be president. <laughs> <laughs> Golly. I don't want cars. I'm going balls out. Food competition. And since last week's food competition, uh, all we could eat was pasta, potatoes, and beer. Honestly, I got it scale. I lost eight, almost eight pounds. I'm shriveling up like a raisin. My father did not come over on a boat for me to starve all summer. <laughs> and we just want to have some burgers or some steaks. Last night, I kind of had a dream about like eating some meat. Crazy. That's depressing when you open up the fridge and only see drinks and jelly. Oh, no. We can't talk about it anymore because I'm going to kill myself. Does Seriously. I'm going to beat someone in the head with a tail. Yeah. Everyone is not very happy about the situation. You know, we all want to eat, eat like some kind of meat. I can't wait. I swear to you, I'm going to eat all night. I'm going to eat I'm myself to sleep. I'm not going to bed. That's what I'm going to do. First things first, gang, I, I need you guys to divide into teams of five. One team is red and one team is blue. We had to pick our own teams, and we just kind of picked whoever was the closest people to us, and uh, we split up the two cooks, myself and June. All right, guys, let's uh, head out for a cool food competition. <laughs> <laughs> we go outside. <laughs> There's casseroles everywhere, and from a distance, they kind of look decent, but I knew. I knew. From a distance, I looked, and I seen a pile of french fries. But then I got closer and I'm, I'm like looking in and I'm like, what the hell is under them? My team was the red team and Dana's team was the blue team. Okay everyone, today we face the clash of the casseroles. 
The object of this week's food competition is to be the first team to correctly identify the meat ingredient and the vegetable ingredient in each of your team's casseroles. Each person is responsible for one casserole. Both teams have the same casseroles in the same order. On go, dig through the topping to the meat and vegetable inside and take a nice big bite. When you think you have identified the meat and the vegetable by tasting it, go to your team's board and choose the meat and vegetable name. Place them on an answer board under the correct category. If you place an incorrect name, that same team member must return to their casserole and take at least one more bite before they can return to their board and repeat the process. They must continue until successful. The first team to correctly identify the meat and vegetable in all five of the casseroles eats the good stuff for the week. Naturally, I eat along with you. The losing team gets a week of peanut butter and jelly. Oh. Bon appetit. I looked at the board and I seen like all the different meats and stuff and I was just, you know, my stomach knotted up. I knew it was just gonna be bad. Ready, set, go! I can't eat a lot of gross, nasty things, especially things I don't know. I knew it was ham. I just didn't know what the vegetable was. If we got a casserole wrong, we had to go back, get another dreadful bite. I was excited about the fact that I had beaten Nathan and give our team a really good head start. What is this stuff? I never eat it. No idea what the vegetable was. Some things up there that I was just praying weren't what I was putting in my mouth. There was turtle up there, it was a little nerve-wracking because we have pet turtles. Ooh. What the hell? I thought it was like ground beef or some sort of pork. I was eating deer. I ate Bambi. It's kind of sad. I certainly didn't know what the food was, so I was not going to put it down. I was not going to swallow it. We do have some barf buckets here. When I threw myself at my casserole, I was really disturbed. It wasn't pleasant. Oh. Good job. That's the meat was just brown and in and, and cubes and very tough. Get the top of the When we realized that we won, we were just so ecstatic. We totally kicked butt out there today. 
Let me give you guys a little high five there for this. Losing the food competition was definitely my worst nightmare. I'm what you call a meat eater. I live and die on meat, and this is absolutely killing me. I feel like I'm gonna blow away in the wind. How did the uh, casseroles taste, guys? Was it good? Mighty tasty? Tastes yeah. like it dropped out of a cow's ass. <laughs> <laughs> out of a cow's ass, yeah. I definitely had to run to the bathroom when I came inside because I was not feeling very good. God, they gave us so much food. Oh, the winning team, the red team, we got to eat for the rest of the week. The blue team has the PB and shape. I'm sure it's delicious, Julie. I think I could do it. I'm going to get crabby. There'll be times where I'm going to be really upset and I'll probably look famished. I had to act a little sad, you know, with them, but in all actuality, I think it's, I think it's pretty funny. You just ate tongue and bell peppers. You can eat peanut butter jelly. And Nate just looks really horrible. He was totally upset. He didn't want to speak to anyone. Like, man, this is going to be a tough week for them. Want more Big Brother? Then log on to CBS.com and subscribe for unlimited access 24-7. For exclusive live video stream, live chat, and more, log on now. Yeah. Very yeah, right is more. Try to make them equal. Equal stuff. Oh, no. Tell me what happened. I have no idea how Robert ended up with Erica. I mean, it kind of might be like that opposites attract thing because he's really ugly and she's really pretty. Erica's a very, very beautiful girl. She's got the whole figure going on. Robert is not gorgeous by any means, nor does he have the height or the build to kind of keep up with a woman who looks like Erica. But he, he basically reeks of um, self-confidence. Yeah. 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 My secret to success with the women is that I'm confident about what I am. You taking a nap today? Yeah. A lot of people yeah. took naps today. I believe I'm doing them a favor by uh, talking to them or getting to know them. Robert, he's so like down to earth that it's just great to talk to. You know, he's really, really sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Robert has a very good personality. He's always smiling and laughing and just having a good time. And you know, girls look for that in a guy. I love myself so much that it's a pleasure to them if I get to know them. I will touch you if I have to touch you, kiss you if I have to kiss you. Oh! Oh! You know, most of my girls have been by me saying, come here, you come here. I did all the time, and it always works. It works. I believe his secret with women is his straightforwardness. They have to be able to come over, have sex, leave. <laughs> Rob does have a little bit of wisdom to share. I would take advice from him. Like, you know who wants the big B? Nate goes, I he have to marry B. a virgin. He's like, I will marry a virgin. I'm not going to do that. It's like not driving a car before you buy it. You have to do everything to it. You have to <laughs> test it and bang it yeah, out. Like, so, <laughs> I always refer to Robert's personality as a used car salesman. He knows he's selling, but he sells it well. Erica has been sad the last couple of days. Uh, she's kind of been putting on, you know, the sad face and kind of moping around the house. I'm not sure what she's feeling. She doesn't seem comfortable around any of us, really. Erica's having a very hard time adjusting to being with Robert in the same house. And I mean, it's hard. It, it really honestly is hard. I'm not mad. I'm saying I'm not going to forget that. That's all I'm saying. Well, I'm not going to forget a lot of things you did to me. Oh, I know. No, I know that. That's what I'm saying. So I guess it's not going to be cool. Yeah. Well, I feel because Robert is here, it makes it difficult for me to be outgoing and be myself, and I've definitely clammed up. I don't know, I didn't think it was going to be... I mean, I didn't think he was going to be here. I didn't think it was going to be... Having to deal with any of it on top of everything else. You're here to play a game, and then you have to deal with emotions right. that you probably haven't, you know? I wish I could identify even more with what you're going through, you know? I feel like I can be of no <laughs> support because I have no wise words to give you.
When she was crying to me, I was just trying to comfort her as, uh, you know, to the best of my ability. I think they were more tears of, holy crap, I'm scared. And they were tears of, I don't know what I'm doing, and this is too much to handle. And maybe they were tears about Robert. I mean, you know, I don't know. I know that if she's not stupid, then she knows she was wasting tears on me. That would be my, I'm telling you, it would be my biggest fear. <laughs> Erica cries all the time, and I've seen her cry so many times that I don't know when it's real and when it's not real, and I'm kind of sick of seeing it. Erica's tears are 100% crocodile tears. They're not real. They're only to, to get a reaction out of me, which doesn't work anymore because I am not with her anymore. That would have worked two years ago, three years ago maybe, but not now. So every time she cries, it, to me, it's bull It's not real. I mean, I don't believe it for a second. I'll be okay, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Oh, you will, yeah. <laughs> Jack has been there probably the most for me. Date anybody now? Yeah, he's definitely like a father figure to me. Erica and I get along very well. We believe that the conversation in the house is usually pretty inane and uh, sometimes silly. <laughs> you like that kinkiness in him. You like that kinkiness. Erica is a very compassionate woman. When she sees something that tugs at her heart, she reacts to it, she doesn't hide it. I, I really like her. What up, Justin? What's up, brother? Come on in, buddy. What's happening? Do you get to listen to some music? Yeah, I'm going to start to. Now that I am the head of household, I have to make sure that I totally know what I'm going to be doing and what I'm going to be capable of. You know, I have to know who I'm going to be putting up, so I have to hear everyone out. And especially if Erica's out here, because I know Erica wants to either ride out or want me out. So, like, she, she was, like, the heart of them. Like, taking her out this week is no huge. Without a doubt, I, I want G to nominate Erica. Oh, God. That's like, That's like once we do that, like their whole little side's gonna fall. I think I'm gonna talk to... You know, we should talk to Jack and Dave. Yeah. Their whole side. Like, they're, they're very aware that they're that they're not, they don't have any numbers. No, they don't. So, you know, the reason why Amanda got all nine votes against her was because they're probably like, you know, we're just going to agree with the HOH. So if Eric gets nominated, like, don't be surprised if Jack votes her out, Dave votes her out, and then everybody else votes her out. You know, don't be surprised if it's like eight nothing, you know, vote. Well, I'm going to definitely consider what you're saying because it does make sense for sure. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. You won't. The pets that we have in the house are the two tortoises, Cuff and Link. Yeah, the turtle pissed on my bed. I'm not really sure if they're turtles or tortoises. Our house pets are both tortoises. I don't really know the difference. Okay, okay, okay. I am the main. The tortoises. The tortoises might be aligned with Erica. I'm not really sure if they are. What's up, little guy? The tortoise room smells like. I won't touch the turtles. Uh, I'm a little skeeved out by him. It smells like a little bit of like stale tortoise food a little bit. Justin's clothes are in the tortoise's room, so it could be his nasty stench that's stinking it up. And in that case, I'd feel bad for the tortoises. Cuff and Link are pretty cool dudes, you know, and they're, they don't bother anyone, so I really like them a lot. I, I like the fish that we have. The fish on the plasma screen. Those are my favorite pets. She's just so innocent. She never does anything to bother anybody, ever. Except me. <laughs> no, I think you got confused. It's where you throw salt over your shoulder, not pour it on your ex-boyfriend's head. That's where you get the difference there. I know it's a little confused upstairs. Did you notice that I just, like, block you out? Yes. That's, that's no different than how, how it was when we went out. Like, hey, Michelle, how, how are you? David, seriously, you need to walk right, right now because I am seriously going to take all of this and throw it on top of your head. Oh my god. I can't even tell you how mad I am at you. <laughs>
<laughs> David, seriously, you are you serious? Need to stop. Are you Joe? No, are you serious? No, seriously, you make me so mad. I try to act like I care in order, you know, to better myself in the game. I'm not trying to create any obvious enemies. I've already like had this talk with you. I would have thought, you know, you apologized. Oh, you told me that I stopped. I what did I what did I do? I have just been getting very aggravated with David recently. He jokes around with everybody, but when he jokes around with me, it's I feel like it's just mean. Like you're never serious with me. Like you always just joke. I'm serious when I say hi, good morning, you look nice, I want to squeeze your bottom. It's hard to sit down and have a serious conversation with him because he is always turning everything into a joke. And I've just been getting very upset about it. Do I have, do I have a heart to heart? No, I think, I think everything I always say to you, I think it's just pointless. That's just like a waste of my time. Hey, come on in here. Say hi to the turtles. Okay, what do you want to talk about? Like, any time, like, at any given time. 99% of the things you say to me, you're just like, it's a big laugh. Every time you joke around with me, you're making fun of me in some way or another. You are, David. Yeah, and I don't know, you're like... Right. You're right. Well, I, I just I just think you, can, I think you can take it. I'm seriously not even going to want to be your friend anymore. Like, it's... It's gonna get that bad, I think. That's why you really need to that's, stop now before I I start to like hate you. I'll just I'll, I'll ease up. I won't say anything. I won't joke with you anymore. David, everything you say to me is making fun of me in one way or another. It really is. Maybe I'm trying to hide my real feelings for you. Maybe that's it. Man, get over it. Grow some thicker skin, Michelle. You know, grow up. You're unbelievable. So can I, can I touch your ass now? If I feel, you know, pissed off at him or in any way I feel like he's belittling me, then I'm definitely going to say something to him now because he needs to stop. I can't live with that any longer. <sighs> What's up, girl? How you doing? You all right? Do you want to talk to me? Is it you? Yeah. If I lay down? Listen, I just want you to know... <laughs> And you know that um, I think you're a sweet, sweet girl, right? So don't take this any in any wrong way. But I'm, I'm considering putting you on the block. I have a point against Erica, but I spoke to everyone. I spoke to everyone. And I can guarantee you that you're not going to go. I'm doing this because I think you're a really safe bet. And I don't think you're going to be going. I, I know you're not going to be going. It's you, Natalie. You know it. There's no one else you can put up. I don't understand why, you know, one of the guys can't be put up against Erica. You know, like... Why does another girl have to be put up? Um, I don't think it's fair at all. You okay? It's a consideration. You don't want to talk to me? I'm being put up because, like, I'm too nice and, you know, innocent. You have to understand it's not that I guess. No, you. I know. I just... It's not that I guess. scared to you. you know, I don't really want it. But if you have to, then I understand. I really don't think you have anything to worry about. It does happen that the pawn goes out. That's why it's so hard for me right now. So, you all right? The nomination power is in the hands of G. Robert, Justin, they were starting to break up our alliance of the seven. Hey, I know I never talk strategy with you, but it doesn't mean I don't know what's going on around you. So, just don't worry about anything, okay? Yeah, I'm working on it. I got a, I got a golden plan. I, I want Dana on the block instead of Michelle because Michelle is on our side. She can be a number because she'll do pretty much whatever Nate tells her to do right now. Did they, did they say you're gonna go up on the block? But don't worry, because Erica's gonna get voted off? Yeah. Okay. Two hours. Two hours away. What? No. I'm trying to talk to you. This is getting crazy, the second week of this game. 
And what's the deal, Dave? I was set on scaring G and threatening him into putting up the people that I wanted up on the nomination block. All right, here's the deal. We will... F we will... F All right, I'm in. I'll guarantee that I don't put you three up next week. But I want from you guys, if I want Dana up, and then she'll go because Dana's so a threat. Michelle's nothing. I'll tell you right now, but I have to put her out there. Right. Everyone else does have to, I have to pray. I thought I talked to them about it. They said, they said no problem. We, we risked our life at this house for you and Jack right now to kind of give you this offer, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you have to take We're it. strong players, and strong players work better together. So, dude, that's mm -hmm. cool on your part. Cool. All right. Dana should not feel safe at all. She lets it be known to everyone that, you know what, I'm here to play the game. This girl is no joke, and she's just getting on everyone's nerves. As the nominations approach, the stress levels are definitely going up with most of the members of the house. I'm ready. Nobody thought that nominations were going to come this quickly. The last hour has been almost unbearable. Almost unbearable. You okay? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I'm okay. Thanks. I just, it's just a game. It's just a game. Just think about it that way. It's just a game. It's not your life, and these are not your friends. I know. You no. Know, it's just a game. This, this game is getting awesome already. Week, uh, week one. You know, I, I think I know what's going to happen, but who knows. I'm feeling a bit nervous, but um, I'm ready for this. It's gonna be all right. I've thought it out. I've thought out many different scenarios and situations. I think I'm pretty much well prepared. Alright guys, it's uh, time for the nomination ceremony, so come and gather around the dining room table, please. Hey guys. Okay folks, um, let me remind you that the way the nomination ceremony works is that the people, the house guests with the keys inside the box are safe from eviction. The, uh, the two house guests without, without the key in the box are obviously up for eviction. It is a responsibility of mine as head of household. Um, I do not enjoy it, but um, the game has to be played and I had to make tough decisions. So um, you know, with that said, let's just um, get this started, okay? Allison, you are safe. Nathan, you're safe. Justin, you are safe. 
your sake. You are safe. June, you are safe. Okay, um, obviously I have selected Erica and Michelle for, uh, you know, as a nominee for eviction. Um, Erica, uh, basically the reason why I chose you was strictly for strategic purposes. Um, the way I see it, I also based it also upon the quality of relationships you have with the people and the, the house guests in the house. And the way I, you know, with my observance, I've noticed that, you know, you make a lot of people, you know, feel uncomfortable here. And at times, I have to, you know, be honest with you, sometimes you make me feel uncomfortable. Um, but I'm not judging you as a person, you know, or your character. It's just for strategic purposes. So, um, please don't take it, yeah, please don't take it personally. I will not. And, um, you know, that's, that's the reason why I chose you. Michelle, I chose you. Um, I think you're innocent, sweet, and adorable. I think you're a really great person, but um, you know I have to play, you know, the game, and I feel like you know you were a good fit to uh, put up against Erica. So um, you know I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings, but it just had to be done, and um, that's it. Okay, so sorry to both of you guys. Okay. All right, it's a game; it has to be played. I really don't enjoy doing this, but. I'm head of household and I have to do it for this week, so thanks guys. Uh, the meeting is adjourned now. I have zero idea what's going to happen. Zero. Some of these people are really whacked out of their minds. So, um, I don't know, I think maybe they perceived me as too normal and that was why I was so threatening. If Erica does leave, it will hurt uh, the rest of the members of the original alliance but I really could kill us. All I have to say is, the game has just begun for me. I feel like I was kind of taken advantage of because I'm the sweet, innocent girl. I've definitely taken like a 360 turn and mm -mm, no more innocence. Who will win the power of veto? And will they use it to save either Michelle or Erica from eviction? Find out Tuesday at 8, 7 central on Big Brother 4.